Hello my friends, I am at Pat's Mac today, just outside of Vancouver, Canada. In fact, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. You might even hear the lawnmowers in the background because the grass is growing and we're excited to see the sun because when I arrived it was raining a little bit, but we love the rain in this part of the country. But let's get back to Pat's Mac. Pat's Mac, over 50 employees, been around since 1972, moved into this gorgeous building about 26 years ago. I have a great conversation about machine monitoring. And why is that? Well, as I've traveled the world, as I keep going into shops, those who are thriving or adapting to new technology, accepting that they may not know it all, like I didn't when I was 20 years old, but I do now. I understand, I know enough to know that I don't know anything at all. I get to talk today with several of my friends about how datanomics has helped them become more aware of things that they thought they knew or theoretically knew, but the truth is in, I know, the pudding. And we're gonna dig through the pudding today to find out more about how Datanomics is helping PASMAC. So join me inside, and the first thing we're gonna do is talk with Rob. Rob, I am extremely excited to be at PASMAC today. I mean, what you guys have done, a legacy company since 1972, moving into this building about 26 years ago, and it looks like really, a DMG Mori clubhouse. I mean, it's incredible what you guys are making. Some of those super alloys and the parts that you're machining. But we have to know what's going on in our shop all the time. And a lot of us out there believe, I already know what I, I already know, I don't need any help. But we've come to realize even a legacy company like yours, there are some bits and pieces we don't know. And that's where machine monitoring comes into play, specifically datanomics in this case. And you, my friend, are the man that's been kind of diving into the algorithms and the, the details of data dynamics. So can you describe a little bit about what you've learned and what you continue to learn about data dynamics here at PASMAC? Uh, the biggest thing that we continue to learn is um, its visibility uh, beyond what we ever expected. Uh, keep in mind, we're, we were coming from a position where our, our ERP system did a lot to, to manage our data and, and, and our estimates, but we had no real way of quantifying the, the actuals. It was always just off the cuff or based on an operator uh, or, or you know, a cycle time generated by the, the control on the machine. But now what Datanomics has done is it's brought a level of awareness to the production floor, which, which moves in through estimating sales, general uh, awareness of production issues with, with movement of materials, processing of jobs. So it's, it's really kind of, not kind of, it, it has, it's brought that missing piece to what our ERP system did. It's brought that real, real time dynamic to something that was for the most part static before. There really is a lot of opportunity when it comes to awareness in general that you're finding through datanomics that allows you to fine tune and understand whether it's the quoting side, the machining side, or something afterwards that helps you understand full circle what's going on in your machine shop, doesn't it? For sure. Um, to what I mentioned before, the, the awareness is just, it's, it's over the top. Coming from a position where you had, you know, on a scale of one to 10, you had an awareness of two. Now we're, we're up in the, you know, the eight and a half, nine, and it's, it's brought some things to our attention that needed addressing, and it's also brought some things to our attention that we, we now know that we do a really good job because uh, we, we got the numbers to back it up. Well, Rob, now that you've taken my job from me because you've done this so oh, well, I'm gonna not. go grab Stacy so we can learn about a little bit more on the management side of things, and you're gonna interview him because you're better at this than I am. Fair enough, So Thank I'll see you. you in a little bit, all right? All right. Well, Stacy, I was with Rob just a minute ago. I offered him my job because he did so much better than me explaining how this all works. I said that he was gonna interview you, but he's happened to sneak off right about now. So you're stuck with me. I hope I do a good job for you. You're gonna do a great job. I'm glad he's not interviewing me because he just tripped me up, so. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. We're on the topic of PASMAC and Datanomics. Right. Rob and I, we got to discuss kind of the the technical behind the scenes of what he's seeing while diving into the software, but overseeing a company and overseeing a large portion of everything that's going on, sometimes bits and pieces of information come from different places, and it's kind of tough sometimes to puzzle it all together like a Rubik's Cube, right? right. Datanomics, from my understanding, allows you to see 
the overview of what's going on, but maybe from a different perspective as someone who's staring at the screen running the machine as well. There's different opportunities to learn throughout the system from a shop floor machinist to a management style. What are you seeing and what is, why has PASMEC implemented Datanomics here? It's really true. Datanomics gives us a visibility across the entire operation that can be seen from different perspectives no matter what your role within the company is. So we've got a, a machinist on the machine, they can tell exactly how well we're doing, are we against plan? If you're a department supervisor, you're looking at that visibility relative to what's going on with my department, with my guys, do I have a job that's in trouble? Uh, are, we in, are we on plan right now? The production supervisor's looking at the entire floor, and when we look at the management side of it, it's a deeper dive into the data relative to how we are operating and making decisions. So whether it's about resource planning, um, staff deployment, um, whether or not we've got jobs or, or repeat type work that we're doing for a client that we need to really dig in on the process because we can see some deviation against plan, um, or whether that's a brand new project that we've planned one way and we can see we're way off track and we need to come back at it. We need to do that in real time. We don't have time to wait. We're in a competitive environment. We're a competitive marketplace. There's a lot of companies out there that would love to do the work that we're doing. We need to be able to use those business tools to get in front of those things so we can deploy those actions horizontally across the entire operational team. We can collect information about history. And sometimes that's compounded over years, sometimes even decades. But then it takes us another year or sometimes decades yeah. to figure out how to turn the past into and the present into a successful future. Datanomics is actually collecting this in real time. And I think that's probably the most important aspect to understand is it's almost a preventive maintenance moving into the future to say, I have this information now. I can, I know what I need to fix. I know what I need to do. I got my greens, my yellows, my reds. I got all my beautiful colors of the rainbow. Right. And as a management side of things, if I was running a shop, I would want to know in the moment how I can fix it now, because as you said, competitive, and this is a competitive industry. It's the biggest advantage that we have with Datanomics. It was probably the key aspect of why we chose the system. Uh, there's a lot of machine tool monitoring out there. The philosophy with Datanomics was different. It was in the present. How do we make decisions right now that affect us right now, and ultimately then for our performance in the future? The ability to mine through piles of data to look at where the trends were and how do we predict the future is an old school methodology and still there's some very good usefulness to that in terms of business planning. But in terms of making decisions right here and now on the jobs and the work we have while it's happening, that we can make an influence on the input and the output in real time is a game changer relative to that data management and use of that data going forward. I appreciate your time and I know you're an honest person the audience knows you're an honest person but do you think we could get someone on camera that's actually on the shop floor to convey that message as well you think they'd be willing to say well I kind of like it too I think we can find a guy look at here my friends I got my buddy Denny on camera with us Stacy did promise us someone who's been on the shop floor and I think was hesitant at first, but absolutely loves datanomics. But let's get the real truth, the real truth. Let's see if Stacy was telling us the truth as well. Denny, let's talk about day one when datanomics arrived. What was your feeling? We were overwhelmed <laughs> and uh, for it being projected up on the screen and that everyone can see, uh, it was actually kind of overwhelming and uh, we didn't really like it too much. Um, it's kind of like everyone's able to see your work even though they're not at your workstation. I came from a machining background and I never had the opportunity to do machine monitoring, but I would race myself. I would see if I could set up quicker. I could see if I machine it quicker. I change the code in the program itself to go quicker. Do you find that some of the folks on the floor almost feel like like this is an opportunity to beat my own score like a video game? So, so for you saying that, in the beginning when uh, it was introduced, it was pretty overwhelming, as I said, and noticing that there was a grade on my machine because I was running that day, I didn't understand it. So I got, uh, it was explained to me by Rob that, oh, you know what, time delay and all that, and if you don't change your parts uh, on time or you're spending too much time cleaning the chips off the table and all, um, it delays that grade. And as someone that likes to kind of compete a little bit, what you just said there, I've actually 
kind of skip, you know, uh, blowing out the chips off the table and focus more on getting the part on the vise and keeping it running. Exactly what you just said. Denny, you are the man for everyone watching. Denny was not even expecting to be on camera today. We really just snagged him out of the break room. So Denny, thank you so You're much welcome, for being brave enough welcome to join to be me here. on camera. Thank you. So have a nice day. All right. Well, that was exciting. Not only did we get to talk about the technology from the, the aspects of speaking with Rob behind the scenes, but also the corporate overview, speaking with Stacy, and then that grand finale with Denny, who wasn't even expecting to be on camera saying, you know what? I wasn't really sure at first, but now I love it. Datanomics brings so much to a machine shop to help us understand truly what's going on in our machine shops. Reach out to them at datanomics.io and tell my friend Greg I sent you.